how do you gain weight with a disease where it seems like no matter what you've tried, it never works? I've been there and have experienced extreme weight loss with my Crohn's disease, but stay tuned as I'll be giving you my top tips on how I gained weight and kept that weight on with my Crohn's disease. Hello, welcome back to my channel, the only place that is dedicated to providing you with the best tips, tricks, and information relating to Crohn's and colitis. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a video, every Sunday. Also, if you want to join an exclusive community of people who receive my personal tips and tricks, just like these ones I've shared in this video on living with Crohn's and colitis, make sure you sign up to my newsletter and you can find the link to that in the description box below. Otherwise, let's dive straight in. Before I tell you what has worked for me, remember everyone is different and what has worked for me may not work for you and it's always best to seek the proper medical advice from your doctors and dietitians. Number one, eat more than you burn. I know this can be very difficult to calculate, especially with how many calories you're supposed to have each day, which is why you need to see a dietitian, but it's a good first step in order to understand on average how many calories your body needs to function at rest and then how much it needs to function when you're active. Then all you need to do is eat more calories than those figures. Again, especially with Crohn's disease, because you may not absorb all the nutrients you take in, it's important to see the right professional people to work out these figures. Number two, similar to number one, you want to eat plenty of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, eating energy dense foods such as nuts, dried fruit, meat, and dairy products. Obviously, if you have any food allergies and intolerances, or if you're vegan or vegetarian, what you can and can't eat may vary. And so, which is why it's always important to seek the professional help of a dietitian that can direct you to alternatives. Number three is enteral nutrition supplements. When I finished being on the liquid diet, which is what enteral nutrition supplements are, I was advised to keep up those drinks as a form of supplementation. So I would take, I think it was about two of these drinks a day in addition to the food I ate, just to give me extra calories and extra nutrition to help with my energy levels and my weight. Number four is exercise. It sounds more like a weight loss tip than weight gain tip, but it depends on what type of exercises you do. I used to do a lot of cardio and was very lean because I played a lot of football but I started to bulk up once I incorporated weight training and focused all my attention on lifting weights. All the excess calories you're going to be eating are more likely to be turned into fat if you're not uh, exercising. And so to avoid looking like Mr. Blobby, incorporating weight training can help increase your muscle mass. Number five is eat regular meals and don't skip meals. I know it can be hard to eat, especially if you have no appetite from Crohn's. And for me, it came to a point where I would force myself to eat even if I didn't feel hungry because I knew I was one flare away from losing all of the weight that I put on. It can be helpful to go to a dietitian and find out about your eating habits and plan meals around those. Whether you prefer big meals or small meals, working with a dietitian can help you identify what works best for you. Number six, use a bigger plate. If you are going to eat more, you need a bigger plate because you are effectively going to be increasing your portion sizes. So you need a larger plate to fit everything on. Number seven, add extras. One way to gain weight is simply by adding extra calories to what you already eat. So you could try adding cream to your coffee or sauces to meals to just bump up the calorific value. So now you know my top tips on how to gain weight with Crohn's disease. But what about eating out with Crohn's disease? Well, don't worry because I've done a video on exactly that and you can find the link to that in the description box below. Now make sure you check out these videos on more useful tips, tricks, and information on Crohn's and colitis. Hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified every time I post a video, as well as leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this and found it useful. And I can't wait to see you all in the next episode.